Hey guys, it's Conf Hollywood Studios here, and I'm sure everyone's excitement is slowly amping up as we slowly but surely approach April 1st, 2023, which is opening day for Six Flags Great Adventure. Of course, there's been a lot of rumors and questions and all things of that nature as we approach April 1st. In this video, I'm actually going to cover something that a lot of us have been wondering, and that is if Zoom and Jar will be open on opening day. For the past few years now, Zoomanjaro has not been open for opening day. Last year, they were very upfront about it. They were missing parts. They were waiting for them to come from overseas. So Zoomanjaro was not able to operate. I believe in 2021, Zoomanjaro also was not open on opening day. I don't really remember why, but I just remember it not being open. And I remember probably the same thing for 2020 as well, but that was the COVID year. It was weird. But Zoomanjaro does not have a great history of staying open for the entire year. Last year and the year prior, Zoomanjaro closed a little early for the 2021 and 2022 seasons. Both cases, I believe, were as a result of a staffing issue. 2021 may have been for the fact that El Toro had its incident and they didn't want people to see it, but I know for sure that 2022 was because of staffing and they figured they'd just close it early because not many people were riding it anyways. But it seems like, as of right now, we may actually have some good news regarding Zoomanjaro for the 2023 opening day. Thrill Guy Coasters on Instagram claimed that he was able to spot Zoomanjaro testing from Prosper Town Lake, which if that's the case, I think it's almost a very safe bet that Zoomanjaro will be open for opening day. Now this has a lot of questions and things that I can't really answer associated with it. Like I said in previous videos, there's a heavy rumor going around that all Frontier Adventures will not be open on opening day. There's a few reasons why people think that. For one, and this is the one I subscribe to, it's likely staffing. They just do not have enough staff to cover that whole area. So they're choosing to close that area as opposed to a different area of the park that's maybe more popular. Another theory is that they may be tearing down the Northern Star Arena for the rumored 2024 coaster, and they want to do that without people watching, and of course they're going to need to be on that path, so it's just best to close the area so they can get that done. And another reason is that they don't want you to see El Toro and what they're doing to El Toro, but personally I don't really buy that theory because there's a lot of plot holes in that idea, and it just doesn't make sense overall. And Zoomanjaro possibly being open for opening day just adds to that sense of confusion and stuff not making sense as if Zoomanjaro was open that is probably the best sight line for El Toro in terms of seeing what they've done to the ride. I remember in 2021 we were all watching as track was literally sitting right next to Zoomanjaro's queue. It was a hot spot for enthusiasts to go back there and see what was being done to El Toro and if they're just going to open Zoomanjaro but then close another area of the park only for the purpose of hiding what they're doing to El Toro that just makes no sense. So I think that the closures of Frontier Adventures probably at this point have nothing to do with El Toro. I think that's all but confirmed at this point, judging off the fact that Zoomanjaro is likely to be open. But Zoomanjaro being open is a really good look for the park. As we said in a past live stream, that if Zoomanjaro isn't open on opening day, that it's really not a good look for the park as they already have El Toro closed, which is understandable, of course. They're making proper repairs to it. But then to have Medusa closed, Mine Train closed, Log Flume closed, and Skyway closed, that really wouldn't look too good to have pretty much Holiday in the Park plus King Ka open. So having Zoomajaro open is another huge anchor attraction that will definitely please a lot of guests. I know I'll be very happy to get my rides in on Zoomajaro. It's one of my favorite rides in the park. And it's just great to see that hopefully it will be open for 2023's opening day. But that's all I have to say for this quick video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content coming soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.